Hi, my name's Mike Ruffing, and this is my flat track bike. I live in Burbank, California. This bike started out as a uh, project that I wanted to do since probably about 1995 and finally put the pieces together. The motor came out of a um, dual sport and was the only thing that I kept from a bike that I had uh, previously. We chased down the frame from uh, CCM in England and Banky helped me build the rest of the bike being uh, wheels, suspension, and uh, brakes. Using the dual sport motor kept me in an area where registration was a breeze basically since the uh, bike had already been registered. Ended up having some friends paint it that wanted to give it the spirit of Harley Davidson yet uh, not ignore the roots that the uh, ATK company in uh, Utah had started with the bike. I had to find a tank that was suitable for the bike and large enough in capacity where I could make a ride and not be uh, running out of gas since the uh, other flat track bikes are using a smaller ta tank because they're obviously not riding around on the street with the bike. Um, tank was made in Oxnard, made by an ex-drag racer that uh, built aluminum oil tanks for dragsters of all things. But what we wanted to do is get the tail section and the tank to blend together. You don't see that that much on these bikes. They're always kind of a hodgepodge of parts, but this tank actually was built to made up with the seat, seat pan and the rest of the tail section. Honda supplied the fork. It was off a 1992 CB600. We went with that because the forks were in great condition, but we had uh, triple trees that were 35 uh, centimeters, and we wanted the triple trees to uh, mate with a fork that would do uh, keep the bike at about the right ride height. So, The uh, exhaust is a, uh, specifically built for the bike as well. It um, was made by a guy named Bird, who's no longer uh, around from what I understand. So I'm thinking, he used to build them in the garage. I'm thinking this is like one of the, probably one of the last ones he built and uh, is really true to the heritage of the bike. You know, this was the exhaust that was on all of them in the early days. So thank you. This is the Rotax 604. It's the largest four-stroke single motor Rotax was making, and it was uh, obviously the one putting out the most horsepower as well. Uh, these motors had a run of about 20 years with uh, anything that was a Grand National in a single-cylinder class. So Harley would buy maybe 100 a year, and they would use them in their bikes as well as everyone else. We got this out of a dual sport bike, and the motor was uh, relatively fresh. I think the Dual Sport only had 2,000 miles on it. So that was the start of, uh, of what we were going to use motor-wise. Had a Del Auto carb on it that uh, finally bit the dust a year ago. Now we have an Amol on it that's uh, still in its last stage of fine-tuning. And like I said, the chassis is CCM, built specifically for this motor. So it, we had to wedge it in, but we already had motor mounts and everything. It was about an hour to get that motor in and basically bolt it up. So uh, The frame also holds an extra quart of oil, which is nice because it just keeps the bike running a little cooler, basically. And, and more oil, the better, uh, I would say. Part of this bike's the suspension. And this frame was one of CCM's first to feature a single shock design versus the uh, uh, double shock. It's a Penske shock. It's built specifically for this bike and um, has 20 different uh, rebound settings on it. Reservoir, out of the way of the motor, provides a little more uh, capacity and a little bit more on the cooling end. Stores, uh, steering damper, definitely helps this bike. I, I, I have it set halfway and basically all that's doing is taking out a little bit of the shaking because the bike is so light that it actually moves around on the freeway especially if they have the grooves cut in the cement. The bike just doesn't track straight. It's bouncing and all that kind of stuff. I got my uh, bars from uh, Flanders out in uh, Pasadena. Uh, bars are definitely a uh, personal taste and these ones had the right amount of pullback and length on a handlebar that I wanted. I mean, they were just, they were perfect. They were the only pair he had and I grabbed them and went pretty much. Headlight plugged right into the uh, wiring harness of the uh, dual sport bike, so I used most of that and uh, 
put a kill switch on it because if anything happens, Lord knows I want to be able to uh, stop this thing. Clutch is the uh, stock ATK one. Actually, that clutch has had no problems in eight years. It grabs great and works just perfectly for the street. It's almost like it was uh, set up for a, a street bike. Front brake is uh, a Brembo unit that, uh, like I said, has more stopping power than I need on it. Uh, it, it just It's a two-finger brake, and it just stops the bike uh, quick. The wavy rotor was actually a present from my uh, friend up in Santa Cruz that was using it on a Buell and found out that the pattern was just barely off. And he says, hey, measure yours and uh, let me know before I return this thing. And sure enough, it was, uh, I already had the front brake set up, but when this came in here, it was too cool not to use. So I went with that. And these uh, sun rims that were built by uh, Banky Performance up in uh, Santa Cruz just kind of had to go with a spoked wheel, it made the bike look right, you know. I have found cast wheels and mags all over the place, but to have a specific built set of 19-inch uh, wheels was what I wanted to achieve with the bike. And this bike is running real dirt uh, track tires. They're uh, Maxxis, and I have number two compound. It's the only thing I could get at the time, and they're very soft, yet the... Uh, Traction is unbelievable on them. I get about 800 miles out of these tires just because they're, they're soft and riding around on pavement and asphalt, you know, does take a little bit of a toll on them, but it is definitely the ticket, so. One of the uh, things that I think came out the best on this whole bike was, um, was the tank. It's aluminum, it holds two and a half gallons, and uh, like I said, it was made to butt up to the seat and be like seamless almost on the transition. I had this sticker in my sticker box probably 10 years. I was wondering like the right thing to put it on and laid it on here and it just went perfect with it. And the uh, tank was built up in Oxnard. I don't think the guy builds the tanks anymore. And uh, I think as a little present when I went to get the tank from him because he was running about three months behind, uh, he had put a, a quick release uh, cap on it for me, kind of a favor thing, which um, is really nice. So, you know, it's level, it's not sticking up above the bike at all. Had it painted in Burbank, uh, auto body shop uh, up here, Armenian run, and these guys are so proud of their work when they finish something. We, we were all standing in the little uh, uh, shop area there and holding the tank and taking pictures. They, they just do great work and uh, you can kind of see in, in, in even the color, they nailed the color. We didn't want it to exactly be the Harley Davidson orange, but you know, ATK doesn't really have a color, so I figured I'd go with a little different shade of orange, and I mean, they nailed it. It's, I couldn't ask for more on a tank, so.